You're watching GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley. We are at Winternam 2010 uh, at Gretsch, and I'm with Gretsch Marketing Manager Joe Carducci. So uh, what are we looking at now? Here? Okay, what we have here now is our very first uh, Gretsch Electromatic model. That's a, a big 17-inch bout uh, body. This is our Tim Armstrong uh, signature model guitar. And uh, uh, of course, uh, Tim Armstrong is the uh, front man and, and lead singer with the band Rancid, who just celebrated their 18th year anniversary. They make no bones or apologies about it. They are a hardcore punk band. And uh, uh, the guitar is a Baldwin era. We found that the original guitar that Tim Armstrong owns was about a 1971 Baldwin era Gretsch guitar. And again, we've taken the DNA from his original guitar and incorporated it uh, into his signature model, uh, right down to the, uh, the uh, DNA of the pickups that uh, currently resides in his guitar. And we dubbed it the new uh, Gretsch uh, Filtertron Black Top Pickups and uh, big block inlays. And it's a, a flat black finish with uh, gold hardware, uh, Justomatic bridge. Baldwin era tailpiece that we uh, replicated from uh, his original guitar. And this is the very first Electromatic model that we're also offering left-handed. You know, uh, Tim Armstrong is a left-handed player and kind of like, somewhat like Jimi Hendrix, if you will, he plays his right-handed guitar that he owns, uh, uh, right-handed upside down and restrings it with a low E closest to his chin. And uh, but now, of course, uh, we do have a left-handed model that he's currently using on the road, like what you see here. And uh, we're very proud of the association and bringing Gretsch guitars to a whole new generation of players and musicians out in the world. This is a fantastic sounding guitar. It features Grover tuners, and it's med it's meant to be played loud. So um, uh, Tim's original guitar, did he make any modifications to it or was it a pretty original spec? Yeah, it's all, he, he did no modifications oh, wow. to it other than his original guitar was a blonde or a natural finish and basically went to a, a hardware store and got a can of flat black paint and just painted over the whole guitar, <laughs> including the binding and the F-holes and, uh, and the guitar that he's famous for. looks like it's been dragged behind a car, <laughs> but it's actually built like a tank and it sounds fabulous. And again, we took the DNA from that guitar and incorporated it into our new uh, Tim Armstrong signature model Gretsch guitar. I noticed there's a zero fret here. Is that typical of that era? Well, on the again, uh, the makeup of Tim's original guitar, uh, which was a, uh, a 71 Country Club, okay. had a zero fret on it. Oh, so, of course, okay. we wanted to maintain the integrity of his instrument incorporated here on his electromatic model. Very cool. Yeah, it's rare to see that on a, on a guitar now. Yeah. Cool. Thanks very much. Thank you.